Article 20. Shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $100,000 for the purpose of hiring a consultant engineering firm to study and report on the impacts of and solutions to flooding from the Hampton River and Hampton Harbor onto and along the west side streets off of Ashworth Avenue, Brown Avenue, and the Island Path and Glade Path areas, and the flooding that occurs from New Hampshire Route 101 North to Winnicott Road, including New Hampshire Route 1A, and in the area surrounding Meadow Pond, including High Street, Kings Highway, Jenton Green, and Meadow Pond Roads. With said sum of $100,000 to come from the unassigned fund balance, this will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 colon 7 Roman 6 and shall not lapse until the work is completed or by March 31, 2020, whichever is sooner. A majority vote is required, and this article is recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0, recommended by the Budget Committee 9-0, and our Finance Department reports no tax impact. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 20, moved by Mr. Griffin, seconded by Ms. Barnes? Is there, Mr. Griffin, do you want to be heard? Yes. Um, this is something that's long overdue. Um, this isn't going to find the uh, uh, answers to this um, flooding, but it's going to give people that live in these areas, uh, hopefully, uh, some answers to what they need to do to help with their property. That's how I see it. And uh, we'd like to, I think the town is very supportive, and, you know, maybe this is going to be going to, you know, we need more help from the federal government. We need more help from the state. But this will give these people that live in these areas hope and an answer to what they really need to do for their properties in order to protect them. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. Uh, anyone else wishing to be heard? Good morning. My name is Leo Pisano, and I live at 164 Linden Street, Everett, Massachusetts. So, and sir, I'm, here to... I'm going to just ask for a procedural item because you're not a Hampton resident. I'm going to ask these folks if they will allow you to speak to them Thank today. You. All those in favor of allowing this gentleman to address the body today, raise your voter cards. Thank you. Down cards. Any opposed? You may proceed. Thank you very much. I'm speaking on behalf of my uncle, Nicholas Forrestal, who owns the cottage at 10 Green Street, uh, down the meadow, right next to Meadow Pond, down in that area. And over the past few years, the area has become so inundated with water flooding that uh, we can't use the cottage numerous times. The issue down there of the flooding in the winter with the freezing has caused another issue with traffic and just people getting in and out of their houses as well as the cottages. We've been down there since 1962, enjoyed it very much, very large family, and we've had a numerous uh, family functions there, which now we just can't seem to have because the front yard, <clears throat> due to the flooding, has become inundated with water to a point where it's become a quagmire down there. Uh, and even after it dries out, it becomes a hay field. So I'd appreciate your supporting articles 20 and 22. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Arlene. Hi, Arlene Andriozzi, 243 Winniconnet and 10 Patricia Street. Uh, I'm speaking in favor of this article. I have been staying with my daughter on Patricia Street, which runs off Glade Path. And I got to tell you, some days you can't go through. I have to use, I have used a tide shot just to see what times I had to leave in the morning to be able to get through the street because it's flooded to the point where you can't get a car through it. I'd like you to consider this article and vote in favor of it. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Andriozzi. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Ms. Barnes. Regina Barnes. I'm going to be fairly quick. I have a lot of residents uh, behind me right now, but I just want to say these, both this article and Article 22 are very important. There's areas in the town that have always been affected by flooding, but this past year has been exceptionally bad. People are flooding where they usually don't flood, and also it's continuous and ongoing. So it needs to start somewhere, and it's going to have to be the town of Hampton to start the process, and it's probably going to be something where the state and the federal government eventually have to get involved. But I hope everyone supports this Article 20 and 22. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Barnes. Good morning. My name is Lindsay DuPont. I live at 20 Meadow Pond Road, and I'm a year-round resident there. I'll keep it brief, but I'm absolutely in support of Article 20 and 22. I've owned my home for about six years, which is much of a shorter time than a lot of the owners in my area. 
Um, but I would just add to the comments that have been made that as my husband and I are looking towards the future and what we would like to do, which is stay in Hampton, the flooding um, is certainly impacting our desire and willingness to spend the money to build or improve upon the home that we have there when the future is just completely uncertain. And I appreciate the uh, Board of Select Selectmen's support in getting this move forward. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Dupont. Uh, yes, ma'am. Hi, my name is June Black. I live at 37 Whitman Street in Lawrence, Massachusetts. All right, I'm going to ask the same procedure goes on uh, here. Um, you um, own property in Hampton? Correct, 23 right. Meadow Pond Road. Would uh, the body allow this uh, woman to address you on her comments on Article 20, raise voter cards, thank you, down cards? You may proceed. Thank you. As, as I noted, uh, my family has owned property on uh, 23 Meadow Pond Road and been taxpayers there since 1964. Um, we have kept it as a seasonal property. We would definitely like to make improvements to the property, but with the great unknowns and the incredible flooding we've seen lately, uh, it's hard to, hard to make that decision, uh, not knowing what the future will be. As noted by the selectmen, uh, it, this will just provide us with a blueprint to move forward, to know what we can do as property owners and also what the town can do to uh, maintain um, the, the, unique, the uniqueness of the beach area and, uh, and the enjoyment of all that own it. So I am definitely in favor of Article 20 and Article 22 and urge the voters of the town to support them. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. I believe it's Mr. Bassett. Tom Bassett. Yes. So Mr. Bassett also is a non-resident who would like to speak to you with regard to property in this area. All those in favor of allowing Mr. Bassett to speak, raise your voter cards, down cards. Any opposed? You may proceed, Mr. Bassett. Thank you. My name is Tom Bassett. I live, um, I own a home uh, on 12 Gentian Road, and I'm here to support Warren Articles 20 and 22, and I want to thank the Board of Selectmen and the Budget Committee for your unanimous support. Um, we love living on the coast. We've been living here for 15 years, um, in the summer in particular, and love being by the marsh and being by the coast, but it's increasingly becoming difficult to, to live here. Um, in the summer, every time there's a, uh, a heavy rain or there's above average monthly tide, the streets flood. And it's not just the, the Meadow Pond area, it also happens down in, in uh, Hampton Beach District, uh, Hobson Avenue and Manchester Street, where we're slogging through water to get to the beach um, in the summer. And in the winter, right now, there's ice everywhere. It's very, actually, dangerous to, to navigate our streets. Um, the proposed um, Warren article is uh, going to try to get an understanding of the multiple kind of parts of this, of this problem. Um, so we appreciate um, that, that effort. And we also uh, want to support uh, Warren article number 22, which we find is a practical uh, solution to that problem. Thank you. Mr. Bassett, before I let you leave the podium, is your property or is your uh, street depicted on either of those photos? Yes, um, we are, I believe, in the top slide, mm -hmm. and I believe the bottom slide is the Hobson Avenue, Manchester Street neighborhood. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm Madeline Lynch, and I live at 8 Green Street, and I am here to speak on behalf of the Warrant Articles 20 and 22, since it is a town-wide issue that we're dealing with on flooding. My family has owned the property on Green Street for 65 years and enjoyed it thoroughly, we can't begin to say. But lately, for the past 15 years, I'd have to say, the flooding has really become intolerable. And I know that the town has considered this before because there have been studies done before, but no action was ever taken. So we have met with the patients of the selectmen, and they've been very diligent in trying to address this issue with at least to start with something to get a study done and try to move forward with a good plan, which I think would behoove everybody in this town, not only the property owners in my neighborhood, and also down in the Hobson Road neighborhood. So I would appreciate your support for both those more articles. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Uh, my name is Carol Spindal. I'm a winter resident at 608 West Delaware, Urbana, Illinois, and a summer resident at 12 Gentian Road. 
So the last time, I know I've been giving the audience quite an exercise here, but all those in favor of allowing a non-resident to speak, down cards, any opposed, you may proceed. All right, thank you very much. Like other Hampton taxpayers, I want to see my tax dollars used wisely, and that's why I support and urge you to support Articles 20 and 22. <laughs> Article 20 allocates $100,000 dollars for an environmental engineering study, and this is the best way to ensure that we won't waste our town funds on solutions that are not effective. We need a practical, cost-effective, long-term, environmentally sound solution to the flooding, and I think this report is the best way for us to find out how to proceed, so I hope you will support Article 20. Article 22 is a small... I'm going to hold you. I'm going to hold you oh, I can't gonna, speak on that? We're okay. just going to deal with That's 20. That's fine. Thank you. Go ahead, Ed. My name is Ellie Erickson. I am also, I live at 12 Independence Road, Pepperell, Massachusetts. Um, my family um, and I, uh, between my entire family, we own four properties, uh, two on Meadow Pond Road and two on Junction Road. I am here to ask you to support this article because we have been at Hampton Beach for a total of 52 years. And uh, it, at this point, we, it, this flooding is impacting our um, enjoyment and use of our property. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Griffin. I just wanted to add one more thing. As a member of the Hampton Beach Area Commission, we have our meetings on the fourth Thursday of the month. After we finish our transportation study, uh, we're working on it and have been working on it, I encourage everybody here that has an issue to start coming to the meetings. You could make your points there. It's a very valuable vessel. And uh, so please come and let's add a little life to those meetings and let's help the taxpayers of Hampton. And that's what that commission should be doing. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. Seeing no other speakers on Article 20, Article 20 will appear on the ballot as printed.